Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the image formation by concave lens, right? So, let us see one table first over here. So, in the table as you can see, the table is comprised of four columns over here, position of the object, position of the image, size of the image, nature of the image. So, for concave mirror, I mean concave lens, let us see what is the first position, infinity. So, if the object is at position infinity for the concave lens over here, what is the position of the image? Now, which we have already seen in the rules for the lenses to draw the images or to find the images by the objects formed by the lenses. So, we have already seen in rule 1, if the ray is coming from infinity, it would be parallel to principal axis. So, let us draw the lens over here. So, this is our concave lens, right. So, so, for the ray which is coming from infinity, which is coming from infinity, that ray would be parallel to principal axis and when the ray is parallel to principal axis, they diverge after crossing or after refracting from the lens, they diverge and they seem to meet at the focus, is not it? They seem to meet at the focus. So, since this is our surface one, the surface which is facing the object is known as surface one, okay and the other side of the lens is called as surface 2. So, the position of the image would be at focus f1 that is on the left hand side as same as the object, okay. Now, size of the image is highly diminished point size as you know because all the rays would be meeting at that particular point and the image formation would be very small. I mean the size of the image would be very small and nature of the image would be virtual and erect. How virtual and erect? Because the image is formed on the same side as that of object, okay, okay. Now, next one, between infinity and optical center. So, let us draw it again. So, this is our lens, right. So, if the object is placed between infinity and optical center O, means anywhere between infinity and optical center, excluding these two points, anywhere you place it. So, the object produces image with the help of convex lens, concave lens I mean between f1 and o. That is, if this is our surface one, I mean always because the object would be somewhere over here, is not it? Between infinity and optical center o, this is our optical center, this is our focus one, this is our focus two, because this is our surface two, this is our surface one, right. So, if the object is anywhere between the infinity, between infinity and the optical center O, then the image will always be formed between F1 and O. Just like the object was at infinity for this, for this first case, then image was formed at F1. Now, we start bringing the object nearer towards O. Then what happens? The image shifts from F1 and moves towards O. I hope you got that right, right? Okay. So, that was all about and the size of the image is always diminished, size of the image will be diminished for other points except infinity and optical center and the nature of the image would be virtual and erect because it is formed on the same side as that of the object that is surface one, okay, of the lens. So, that was all about our image formation by convex or concave lens. Thank you.